Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of Chami Devi Institute of Pharmacy. In today's session, we are going to learn synthesis of sulfur methoxazole. Sulfur methoxazole is an antibiotic used for bacterial infections such as urinary tract infections, bronchitis, prostatitis and is effective against both gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria. Common side effects include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite and skin rashes. Sulfamethoxazole is a sulfonamide in bacterial static. It resembles a component of folic acid. It prevents folic acid synthesis in the bacteria that must synthesize their own folic acid. Sulfamethoxazole was introduced to United States in 1961 and it's most commonly used in combination with trimethoprim. Sulfamethoxazole inhibits bacterial synthesis of dihydrofolic acid by competing with para-aminobenzoic acid. Trimethoprim blocks the production of tetrahydrofolic acid from dihydrofolic acid by binding to and reversely inhibiting the required enzyme dihydrofolic reductase. Now we will quickly move towards the synthesis. In synthesis, the starting materials, we have two components. The first compound is para-aminobenzoic sulfonine chloride. This compound reacts with 3-amino-5-methyl isoxazole. The structure is having isoxazole ring. Third position we have amine group. Fifth position we have the methyl group. So it becomes 3-amino-5-methyl isoxazole. Now we just have to do the addition reaction. What happens when we do the addition reaction? The chlorine group takes one hydrogen molecule of amine group and it is removed in the form of HCl. And now both the compounds will be added and we get a compound named as Sulfamethoxazole. In this, the isooxazolein ring is attached, and the complete addition reaction it gives sulfamethoxazole as the desired compound. So this was very simple synthesis of sulfamethoxazole. Hope this video will help you. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.